Don here with Hughes Easels. Uh, today we're going to demonstrate the Model 3000 uh, and the capabilities that it has. Uh, the Hughes Easels is known for their counterbalance movement, meaning that you can move them up and down with the touch of a hand, and you can also move them left and right. You can see here. Uh, the Hughes Easel has uh, a unique way of fastening the canvas in. Uh, we use bandsaw blades here, which grips the canvas. Uh, our top clip is actually reversible, where we can take it off. This would be using our bandsaw blades. The other way, we have the traditional lip that most of y'all are, are familiar with, which can go on this way. This works good if you were doing something in a frame and you didn't want the saw teeth to, uh, to actually eat on the, um, on the frame. But for canvases, the saw teeth is the best way to go. Um, our front lip has two pins that you can pull. This will allow this to fold down so that you can actually make brush strokes off of the uh, canvas as you're painting it. Uh, the thing to do right now, I think, would be to put a canvas on here and kind of demonstrate just on how it holds it. I have a canvas here. Now, this canvas doesn't have a lot of weight to it. And probably a lot of yours won't either, so you really don't even need the counterbalance weights um, for a canvas this size. But you can see how the teeth are gripping the canvas, and you can actually make brush strokes off of it. And you can fold this down to where you can paint off not necessarily tipping upside down to do that last quarter inch that most easels uh, will prohibit you from doing. If this painting had more weight to it, we supply these counterbalance weights. Uh, we have them in two different legs, this being the heavier one, this being the smaller one. If this canvas was heavy, this would float to the bottom, and then we would add a counterbalance weight here, which uh, would then counterbalance the painting. Now you can see that actually the painting goes up much easier than it comes down because we really didn't need the weight on there. I'm going to pull that off now. Let's say now though we want to do something taller. Right now we could lock in a 36 inch tall painting. But let's say we want to turn this painting the other way. Well, we'll take the canvas off. All of our carriages are, are expandable by two feet. So to extend the carriage, we would pull these two brass pins out. Uh, on the right side, you'll find a ball knob here. This is a locking pin. This actually locks our canvas from moving, our carriage from moving up and down. So we're going to lock it so it can't move. It actually has another nice purpose if you were doing a heavy painting, you want to do some photography work on it, you don't want to mess with the counterbalance weights. Uh, you can lock the carriage, put the heavy piece on it, and do your photography and not mess with it. So we've got it locked. We've pulled the two brass pins out. We're now going to raise this up to five feet. There's another set of holes here if the painting was four feet tall, so we wouldn't have to go quite so high. Now we can take this canvas and we can put it back on here. Bring the clip down. We remove our locking pin that we had on locking the carriage. And we can move it down to the floor to paint the top of our canvas. If our ceiling is permitting, we can move it all the way up to paint the, uh, the bottom of it. Uh, one of the other features that, the, uh, that all the fuse easels have, I'm going to take this back off is a tilting mechanism. Um, let's say you wanted to reduce some glare and you wanted to tilt the front of the painting forward a little bit. On each side, we have two knobs that we can loosen and we can tilt this forward 15 degrees. This works good for reducing the glare. Also, if you're working with pastels, it keeps the powder, the pastels, from hitting on the bottom part of the painting. It'll actually land in this lip. We have the same tilting on the bottom, too, if you want to tilt the bottom out, although most people don't normally do that. Um, let me lower this back down again. Okay. Uh, these pins, or these weights, when you're not using them, 
There's two pins on the back down there that they store on. Uh, the easels all come with four casters. The two front ones are locking. And uh, that pretty much sums up the Model 3000. Now we'll uh, continue on with the Model 4000, which is basically has the same features but has a lot larger capability. So for now, thanks for watching.